So. Don't get ahead of yourself. Mm. <laughs> a vlogging we will go. A vlogging we will go. Hello, I do not know. A vlogging we will go. Uh, so I just picked Ava and Cash up from school and Ava is in a mood today. It is like I dropped off a toddler, not a toddler, but a first grader and picked up a teenager. She came home talking about, I hate this, I hate that. I don't want to go to cry anymore, blah, blah. Whoa. Anyway, um, so I'm making their dinner. I thought I'd show you guys real quick. This is how I make pizza for them. I just buy like, this, um, you know, like the $1 loaf of bread that they have at the store. It's like the French market bread or whatever. And then I will use this for like three or four of those pizza meals. And then like at least one spaghetti dish. So I'll just buy a can of this, which is like $1.50. So that's $2.50 for both. And then, you know, obviously I just sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. Instant pizza, the kids love it. And it's super cheap and fast and it's great for like parties or appetizers or whatever because everybody can kind of put like what they want on there. I just did a little bit of mozzarella, a little bit of Parmesan. I'll throw this in the oven at 375 for about five to six minutes and check it, and it'll be done. They're already peeled their baby carrots, honey. Don't chop like that and that. Do you guys like your cucumbers? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Ola. Look okay. at my mouth. Ah. Oh, we're playing seafood. I love that game. Mm. Here are the little pizza bread things that I just made for the kids. Can I tell them something? We feed the ants carrots and cucumbers. That was sweet. So, so carrots and cucumbers, mm -hmm. so they can survive for for this winter that's coming up. Too loud. Too quiet. Just right. Let me tell you about my thing. So, so me and my friend and I both had a chin nose. My name is like a big old girl, like a baby. Well, I went in Cash's room today and we hugged each other. No, you didn't. Yeah. In public? My little yellow Mom, girl. She's so cute. You want to build one of my apps doesn't she and look, with me? Doesn't she look vicious? What? Are you going to build one of my apps and figures with me? You mean while she's in class? Sure, I guess. I just opened my door and there's something from Sherry's Berries on my front porch. No idea what that's about. Interesting. Okay, I am going down the street to pick up my daughter from school because I just got a phone call from her school saying that she has like some terrible rash on her arm and her back and they asked me if she was allergic to anything um, <laughs> besides school. And I, you know, I said, no, not that I'm aware of. Now my son definitely does have an allergy, but she's not, she's not supposed to, nothing that I'm aware of. They said she has a pretty severe rash. So, all right, I am pulling into school and I will see you guys in a little bit. We just stopped at Walgreens real quick to grab some um, candy for their, whatever you call it, their Valentine's Day tomorrow. So Eva, is that the one you're gonna choose? And then Ava has got, let me see the back of your arm, honey. So she was having an allergic reaction. So we're gonna grab some Benadryl and then I'm taking her to the doctor's appointment a little bit later. Mommy. All right, grab one, honey. Thank you drinking. Mm, it smells good. Yeah, it's like Benadryl, honey. So this will be for, is this one for Cash's class? Mm-hmm. So this will be for Cash's class. And then these warheads will be for Ava's. And then while we're waiting to go to the doctor, we are going to uh, start working on those. And then, you know, let's go back to this weirdness, which I have no idea who sent me this, but let's crack this open. Oh, I get it. Okay, because it's Valentine's Day this weekend. That's how far out of that loop I am. I was like, why would anyone send me berries? I don't know who sent it, but I'm pretty excited. Yeah. I don't know their berries. Well, I don't. So we have chocolate dipped Oreo cookies. And then we have handmade pops. I guess this is who this is from. So, happy Valentine's Day. A little something for you and the kitties. Hope you enjoy them. And I'm always thinking of you guys. That's so sweet. Oh my God, I am so excited let me right see, now. Let me see, let me see. Look. And there are two boxes of that 
plus these little chocolate dipped Oreos. Oh my God, these are so cute. A little chocolate covered Oreo and it has like a printed thing. Oh my God, that's so cute. Can you eat the printed thing? Yeah. All right, which one are you eating? Oh, you're gonna do the same one as me? Oh, Oreo cheers. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't taste it yet. Mmm. That's really good. I really can't taste it yet. Why? Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Sorry. Mommy. That's the Oreo. When it's like, it's literally just like covered in chocolate. So. Don't get ahead of yourself. Mm. <laughs> I'm not eating them, I'm just showing them. So then this little chocolate one has like little chocolate things at the top. These are just beautiful. I mean, they have such a, um, this little white chocolate one. They just have a very, very luxurious feel about them. Oh, look at this one, it's pink and gold. I want that one. Okay, but not right now. And that one has pink and gold. I mean, and they're so cute. Like they stand up by themselves in little bags. So, so like I said, I mean, they really go above and beyond for the the whole packaging and feel when you open it. I really appreciate this gift, especially today because like I was, I don't know if I really got a chance to say when I was in the car, but <clears throat> as you guys know, I'm sick. I have to go to the doctor later. That was after spending like two hours on the phone setting that appointment up. Oh, I'm this in my head. Oh, my sweet Jesus, that feels so good. Yeah, to me it does, because I have people right now. Um, basically, I just need antibiotics. I'm not dying. It just, I need antibiotics. So, anyways, Ava and I are gonna make the round trip down there later and get that done. Oh, so Ava and I are gonna sit here and um, get the Valentine's Day stuff ready for tomorrow for their classes, because um, it'll be pretty late by the time that we get home and then go pick up cash. And just... Okay guys, we're in the car, we're getting ready to leave. As you can see, poor Ava is back there, just passed out. Um, I, yeah, I mean, at least now I think I know what's wrong with both of us. Um, now that she started to present with that rash, and I did a little bit of research, there was a child at a birthday party that we were at, Cash's birthday party, um, who had Fifth's disease, and now I think that's what I have had for the last I guess 10 days now, and now I think that's what she has. Awesome. So here we are driving down this extremely long. Reminded me of when we went to the park this summer. It was like a state park, and um, we were way out in the middle of absolutely nowhere, kind of like we are right now. And of course, I lost cell phone reception. So I had to pull over at this like little country store and the girls that worked there, they were so nice and they helped us because, you know, of course the, you know, my phone wasn't working because we had no cell phone reception. Um, and yes, I heard banjos playing. <laughs> um, so that made me think about a little trick that I thought up when that happened that I just did a minute ago. I pulled over and did it real quick. So I thought, let me tell them this trick in case this ever happens to them. So you pull up your, you know, the GPS, the navigation on your phone while you still have service. And then you know how you can press the little button at the bottom and you flip it to list view. So you flip it to that, you know, pull over while you're doing this. Obviously you don't want to kill yourself. Um, and then screenshot, like take a picture of your screen um, of all the directions from where you are all the way to where you're trying to go. That way, if you lose reception while you happen to be driving, it doesn't matter because you can still follow that picture that you took. Learn that the hard way. Okay, I wish y'all could see this woman driving behind us. Okay, like I already said, we are out in the middle of nowhere, stick country. Um, she is driving some little Kia something or the other. She is so close to the back of my truck right now that I cannot even see a license plate or the entire, I mean, literally, I could just see the little placard at the top of her hood that says Kia. Okay, obviously you're familiar with these roads and I'm not. They're windy, they're narrow. Why don't you just go on and go around me? Why do you have to ride the back of my car? Like, you're not gonna make me go any faster. I don't, oh, I just don't understand that. It's so unsafe. She's back there, she keeps like, looking like she wants to come up around the, so just go around the left obviously you know where the accelerator is just do it and get it done with 
to kill everybody involved. Oh, this lady. I'm gonna take her out of the car and give her a whoosh. are in the car. We just went to CVS to pick up my prescriptions from yesterday. Were they open, Ava? No. No. And it was kind of funny. We sat there and waited for like 10 minutes um, and all these people kept pulling up and trying to go inside because obviously everyone thinks that CVS should be open before 8 a.m., but they're not. But anyways, that gave me the opportunity to bring Ava over to this fun little place that I keep seeing and then never like have time to come here in the morning. So we're going to go check it out. Do you know what it is, Ava? No. Are you excited? So we're at this little donut shop. Look how cute this stuff is. So now we're going back to CVS to wait the next six minutes until CVS opens. We just filled up the gas tank. CVS is open. We're finally in. Ava. Time to secure the medicine. Mission met. Yeah, we're the here. Kind. CVS. Ava, show them your wear. Show them what you're wearing. Ava's uh rocking the nightgown today because she's playing hooky because she's sick so it's not really playing hooky is it well no. i'm not really that sick well she has Spitz disease so she's contagious how about that so we just went to pick up my medicine they did not call it in from the doctor so <laughs> it was like yay um so we have to wait like 15 or 20 minutes i don't know if you can see that this little Charlie Brown thing and that says be mine. Oh, so cute. Shake it. Look at that. Look Showing Ava what used to provide me hours and hours of entertainment with my brothers and sisters. Okay, who remembers what this is? Oh, look at that blood pressure. That's good. Okay. Ava's ready to wrestle the systolic diastolic machine. You gotta put your arm further in than that. Oh, is that as far as it goes? Well, it's because you have those little T-Rex arms, Ava. Oh, this hurts. You just have to be still. It's just going to squeeze it. You don't want to keep your arm in there. Just press the red button and it'll release it. Press it again. See? Show everybody. Oh, man, I look rough today. This is what you look like when you're sick for 10 days straight. Look. She braided mommy's hair and added some little bows. Don't be jealous. Who looks cute? Mommy. My hair looks cute, but mm, not this part. But you I look cute. I want to do makeup on your face. Girl. Somebody needs to do something to my face. I want to put makeup on it's, your face. It's not good. I know. Well, you can do what you need to do because ooh, it's not good. I look what? You look gray. Done. I can look. Oh, yeah. That, that looks good. Hey guys, we are in the car doing our every Friday trek to New Orleans. Um, we, well, it's kind of a complicated situation. Cash is stealing Ava's markers. Um, it is a complicated situation, and I will definitely shoot a vlog about it. Um, not like, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, so every Friday we get in the car and we drive for several hours to New Orleans, and then the kids visit with their dad for a few hours, and then we drive several hours back home. Um, so every Friday it's about eight hours of our day, um, you know, because by the time you like pack the car, and pick up the kids from school, drive down there, have a visit, drive back, get the kids home, get them fed, get them in their jammies. It's quite a process. Um, but it's important to me that they have a relationship with their dad. If I want them to see their dad right now, that's just kind of a thing. So that's what it is. Um, and then while they spend time with their dad, I go to the gym. That's the one day of the week that I don't work out in the morning and that's because I save my workout for the evening and then I do that while they're there. That way it's just kind of, you know, win-win. I get to 
get a last workout in for the week before the weekend. Um, and nice they get to use it was good. So that's it. We're just gonna be driving for a couple hours. Sometimes they watch their iPads. Um, today they're not. They're coloring. Cash had a Valentine's Day party at school. He got in the car with a bag of loot like this. Literally, it's a massive bag. Um, I think he's gonna give some of that candy to his dad. So I just got them home. They were totally passed out. Put them inside and now I am, well I cleaned out the back of the truck, which was disgusting because the kids had like junk everywhere. And then all that stuff that's over there and then everything I already took inside. I'll show you in a second, but I like to get it done as quick as possible because if they wake up, I don't want them to be like, where's mommy? Okay, so this is a sampling of what my every Friday looks like. So I make them little snack packs. Well, I take them a lunch that they eat on the way down. And then I have in a cooler other stuff that they eat on the way back. I have to take their iPads, iPhone, and then my snack. And then their dad got them stuff for um, Wednesday. And then this is just has all their, make sure that I grab their water bottles and stuff that they want to take to see their dad, jackets. And then daddy stuffy. gave them a stuffed animal. And then this is all their gear from school because I just grabbed them from school and we go straight. My purse, my gym bag, blah, blah, blah. So here it is, 9.30 at night, and now I have to unpack all this, get the kids dinner, take a shower. I love Fridays! I actually Yay. agree with her. <laughs> 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 hey, but that really did not...